Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Oceanic VO4 dive computer. So this is the newest iteration of their VO range. The VO was always supposed to be kind of their entry level dive computer, um, but actually, it's, it caters to pretty much any recreational diver um, because it's got air nitrox, it's got free dive, I think it's also got gauge mode built into this. Um, so it's pretty much just their large screen dive computer now. Um, lots of clever stuff on the inside. It's got a two button user interface, which is actually pretty easy to use. Once you get your head around uh, the kind of menu structure, it's quite uh, sort of easy to uh, navigate. Another um, sort of new thing that's coming out on most new dive computers, this has Bluetooth built in, so you can connect it to an app. The app is very nice. Uh, so once it's connected, it just wirelessly beams your dive data to that, and that acts as like a digital logbook. So that's really handy for scuba divers. Uh, let's take a look at the aesthetics of it. So it comes in two different colors. This is the yellow version, also comes in black. And um, I really like the styling of it. So um, it's quite rounded and quite modern. The, uh, the branding of Oceanic isn't too in your face. It's quite subtle uh, and smart. The, uh, the two button user interface, as I said, is quite easy to get used to. The straps themselves, uh, they've got a decent sort of thickness to them so they don't feel flimsy, um, but they've got a nice texture to it where they've kind of put this checkerboarding on it, um, gives it a real nice sort of feel to it. So when you actually pick it up, you're like, actually, that's quite nice. Um, really long strap on it, so if you're diving with a dry suit, then yeah, you've got plenty uh, of adjustment in that. Uh, and if I flip it over, so we've got the, um, the battery compartment in here, and as this suggests, it is user changeable battery, so you can do it yourself, uh, but obviously do make sure that you get an official uh, sort of O-ring, because you can't just put any similar O-ring inside of that. You wanna make sure you get the best seal, otherwise it's just gonna flood. Um, so that's the aesthetics of it. Other than that, you also get a, uh, a sort of quick review card, um, which is really useful. Have a look through that, and that really tells you what the uh, the computer is trying to tell you and how to navigate around the menu. Um, but yeah, let's take a closer look at the uh, the actual computer and the actual screen. Okay, so we've got two button user interface. Uh, basically the left button is what you're gonna be cycling through things, and then the select button is basically your select. Um, so if I press that once, it's gonna basically show you the dive screen. Um, this computer, it's, um, it's gonna sort of switch itself off or at least put it to sleep uh, after 10 minutes of inactivity. So if you're not pushing any buttons, 10 minutes it's gonna go into like a power save mode. And then after two hours, it's gonna really switch itself off. Um, so for long storage, it's really gonna switch itself off after about two hours. So as you can see, uh, traditional dive computer uh, sort of screen layout. We've got the large um, sort of information in the center. When you're actually on your dive, that's gonna be your no decompression limit, so how long you can stay at a certain dive. Um, and then you'll usually have sort of your depth up here and then any peripheral uh, information down below. If you press select, uh, that's gonna activate the, uh, the backlight. You can't quite see it here. Uh, because of the bright studio lights, but you kind of get the effect of it. Uh, so than that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly uh, sort of navigate through some of the menus. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set it to Nitrox. Um, so press the advanced button, uh, and that shows you your previous, your last dive. That's really handy for filling out your logbook. You don't have to go to the logbook and then cycle through and then find your uh, most recent dive. It's right there on its own screen. Press the button again, shows you the temperature. Uh, again, your no-fly uh, information. You can plan dives, you can check your logbook, go through your previous dives, uh, or if you connect it to the app via Bluetooth to your smart device, um, then you can do that also automatically. Set F, uh, so that's going to be your, um, your gases. So I'm gonna press select. Right now it's set to air. Uh, I don't wanna dive on air, I wanna dive on nitrox. So pressing the advanced button is going to increase the, um, your oxygen percentage. Uh, at the top it tells you your MOD and then the, uh, the PPO2 uh, or the maximum PPO2 that it's set to. And right now it's set to 1.6. Uh, so I'm gonna change that to 30%. So you just keep pressing it until you get to the right number. Um, that's gonna go all the way up to 100% and then it cycles back to 21. Pressing select, 
And then it asks you to set your, uh, your maximum PPO2. I'm gonna change that to 1.4, because I like 1.4. Select, and that's your nitrox set. Um, and then you can sort of cycle through and do um, sort of your other gases if you want to, whatever you need. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Then you can cycle through to the, uh, the different information, so alarms, uh, utilities, uh, the time, the different modes. I'm just gonna dip in here quick, because right now it's set to dive mode, which is scuba diving. Uh, pressing advanced, that changes it to gauge mode, where it just acts like a bottom timer um, and depth gauge, but it's not, uh, it's not gonna tell you off for uh, any sort of nitrogen loading or anything. But only use that um, if you know what you're doing, because it might lock you out for about 48 hours. Um, so only use it if you're only ever gonna use gauge mode. Uh, free dive for snorkeling, uh, similar, but it's got a high um, sort of sample rate. And then back to dive mode, uh, which is all I want, and that puts you back to the screen. Um, so yeah, it's a smart little dive computer. Um, and uh, yeah, very easy user interface and big buttons, big, um, big set of screen as well, so you can see what's going on. And, um, and yeah, it's, I like the styling of it. They've definitely um, sort of upped their game from their previous version. Um, yeah, so suitable for any scuba diver, especially if you're um, sort of snorkeling as well. You only need to have sort of one unit. And um, yeah, if you like it, let us know in the comments below. This is the Oceanic VO4 dive computer. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And of course, hit that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video on the newest dive gear. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.